the lecture outline for today is number one we shall try to understand what we call nucleosides then we'll go to nucleotides and we shall that's when we shall look at nucleic acids actually to make nucleotides we start from nucleosides to make nucleic acids we start from nucleotides so nucleotides are the building blocks they are the building blocks of nucleic acids just like we have monosaccharides as building blocks for carbohydrates just like we have fatty acids and glycerol as building blocks for lipids and amino acids as building blocks for proteins I'm going to demonstrate to you what a nucleoside is and what forms a nucleoside. Then I'll show a nucleotide. That's when I'll try to state to you the importance of nucleotides to the human body. Later, I'll go to nucleic acids basically, RNA and DNA, and try to explain to you what is RNA and DNA. What is the function, the most important function of the two? So if we go to nucleosides, nucleosides, they are made up of a sugar combining with a base. This base in complete, it's nitrogenous base. That is a nucleoside. A nucleotide on the other side is made up of, besides having a sugar and a base, like in nucleosides, you add a phosphate. This phosphate is like the phosphate we used in lipids. It comes from phosphoric acid. So what are we saying? We are saying that a sugar and a base forms a nucleoside. A sugar plus a base and a phosphate is what comprises a nucleotide. So take note, this one, the suffix is I-D-E-S. But this one is S-I-D-E-S. So sides, tides. That is the difference. Let us go into the details. What kind of sugar do we use to make a nucleoside? We use a pentose sugar. What is the structure of this pentose sugar that we use? It's a, it actually looks like this. Carbon number one, there is OH and H. Carbon number two, there is H. And here, I'll just put R. I'll explain why I'm putting R. Then on carbon number three, there is OH. Carbon number four, there is OH attached. And what is there on carbon number five is CH2OH. This sugar is called the pentose sugar because it has five carbon atoms so number one number two number three number four number five i have put r there and i'll come and explain later what this r stands for so we are done with the sugar my next discussion is the base what is this base which we are in full calling nitrogenous base what is this nitrogenous base the nitrogenous base as the name suggests in its structure contains nitrogen and 
We have two types of nitrogenous bases. We shall look at them in details under metabolic biochemistry. The two types are type number A, it has a single ring structure and it looks like this. The name given to this type of nitrogenous space is pyrimidine. Number B, we have those with a double ring structure. And those with a double ring structure, they normally look like this. What name is given to them? We call them purines. What is the summary now? The summary is to make nucleic nucleosides, even in nucleotides, even nucleic acids, you need a sugar. What sugar? Pentose sugar. And that is the structure of a pentose sugar. You also need a nitrogenous base. And there are two types of nitrogenous bases. Those with a single ring structure, pyrimidines. Those with a double ring structure, purines. What are the examples of bases we are talking about? The bases examples of pyrimidines are cytosine, thymine, uracil. What are the examples of purines? There are only two. Adenine and guanine.